Hey guys, it's me, so welcome back to another video. Today we're back with Monster High G3 and we're opening the other two dolls from the series. Yay, I'm so excited. So you may have seen my other video where I reviewed Claudine and Laguna, who were my favorites from the series, but they're amazing. But I wanted to get the whole line from this line because I think this line looks so good. So I have a Draculaura and Laguna to review next. And they are so good. Hopefully I can get Frankie soon once Frankie actually comes out because Frankie's not actually out yet. Uh, but there technically is a Frankie doll part of this line, but they're their own, own doll. And they look amazing. I want them so bad. But we gotta wait for Frankie, unfortunately. But we have these two. These look amazing. This line in general is amazing. Like, all of these dolls look so good. I thought I wasn't gonna get Cleo because I try not to, like, collect whole lines of dolls as much anymore as like as I used to but then I saw it in store and like oh my god I couldn't I couldn't not get Cleo but I think I'm gonna skip the next Skeletimate Secrets line the fluorescent the winter one I think I'm gonna skip those ones also they all have polypropylene hair in that line so I'm kind of glad they do because that gives me an excuse to not buy them because I hate polypropylene hair although doesn't Cleo have polypropylene? I don't know, her one doesn't feel like polypropylene. Really People say she does though. Anyways, the boxes are amazing. They oh, they really stand out. They're a cool disco ball shape. Very cool. And the artwork on these, like I said in the last video, the artwork's amazing. Um, it's by Darko Dark and it is beautiful. Look, look at this artwork. So, so good amazing artwork these dolls really stand out on the shelves beautiful so we're gonna open these up and uh see what we think all right the dolls are out of the box who should we do first i'm gonna do draculaura first okay draculaura's one is so good oh my god <laughs> all these dolls are good but like I guess I didn't really pay attention to Draculaura's doll that much because I was so in love with Claudine's doll so I didn't really pay much attention to her and you know um, but she's amazing like look at her look at her hair she's got box hair that's okay that's normal just wash it it'll be fine she has tinsel in her hair too it's very nice like it's like a purple tinsel it's very pretty I like tinsel my dolls I know people hate it I think it's fun and it's not like it's not crazy tinsel, you know, it looks cool. Um, oh, her hair looks amazing. I love how it's just a, you know, mix of black and pink. I like how it's not half and half. I kind of like the mix of black and pink. I think it looks kind of nicer. She has this big black bow in her hair. It's plastic, but looks very cool. These strawberry earrings, oh my god, they're so cute. She's adorable. Oh, she's so so pretty! I love her and love her in a big ears and can black makeup eye eyeshadow. And this dress is giving me, um, what were they called? Is it the Ghoul's Rule Draculaura? I'm pretty sure. It's really reminding me of that. I do have that doll. Um, she's pretty cool. Um, imagine if she had the big wings like that doll did. But yeah, it's really reminding me of the Ghoul's Rule Draculaura. But it is even better. It has this big bow on the back. Look how cool this is. This is so cool. And she has the necklace on as well. What is her necklace? It's like a heart and bat wings. The kind of typical Draculaura thing. It's really cute. And it's black. She's got a lot of black on this doll. I like it. Um, she has a little black rose bracelet on. And she has a pink beaded bracelet on this hand. She's got two bracelets. Um, and oh yeah, her purse is still on. But they all come with little purses. Her one is so cute. And they all open. Um, which is very fun. She has these really cute pink tights on. Oh, she's so cute. She's definitely one of the best ones too, I think. It's so hard. All of these dolls are really good, honestly. And then she has these just really cute, like, chunky, like, like big pink heels on. These are really cool. They got that spiderweb pattern on them. And hearts. Look at the back of them too. Love the details on these. Even though they're not painted like super like crazy, you know, they're mainly just one color apart from these little black hearts, but they're still very detailed. And they're super cool. I love this bow on her back. <sighs> these dolls 
the, the Slime Dolls is the best G3 dolls in my opinion. They're so good. They're so detailed. They come with so much as well. So she comes with her little little poster thing. They all come with a little like piece of cardboard with them all on there. Super cute. Apart from Frankie's not on theirs. That's sad. Um, she comes with some of the cutest accessories, I think. Um, so first of all, she comes with a little, little tiny lipstick. Look at this. Look at this. So cute. Oh my god. This, this is crazy. She comes with this big bouquet of black roses. Hello? Do you guys think that, um, Claude gave these to her? I wonder. But this is so cool. I love that they're black. It's so sick. She can't actually hold them by later. They don't have anything for her to hold on to, but you know, you can still find a way. They're really cool. Is she prom queen? Is that what's happening? So cute. And then they look almost like some kind of food thing. And her one is like probably the best one. It's a fucking chocolate fountain. Hello, this looks so delicious. Oh my God. This looks surreal. It's kind of freaking me out how real this looks. The little skelet on here. So cute. And then she does come with these little this little plate of strawberries that she's dipped in the chocolate fountain. They are stuck to the plate, by the way. They're part of it. Um, they look a bit flat, but so cute though. Oh my goodness. So cute. Okay, the last one we have is Cleo. The one who I thought I wasn't going to get. Only because I was trying to convince myself not to buy all of them, but it didn't work. So, like, I wasn't sure about her at first because I thought this, like, I thought the bottom half of her dress was just this, like, black fabric. And I was like, okay, it's kind of boring. But actually, it's, like, not. Like, it's this whole piece. Like, the black dress part just goes out the sides. But in the packaging, you can't really see it. So it's kind of like this. But, yeah, it looks so much better out of, out of the packaging. Like, this is so cool. And she's so much blue on her. I love like this bl like all blue color on Cleo, the blue and gold. So pretty. It feels it feels like good poly, I guess. But it's very nice and long. Look how long her hair is. I love all the hair on these dolls. Oh my god, her shoes are fucking cool. Okay, sorry. <laughs> she has the best shoes. Um, she's got gold tinsel in it. Very cool. Her hair is so long. Okay, you can kind of tell it's poly because it's stuck in like this position. That's a very poly thing to do. Um, she's this like cool like golden like thing on her hair. Very cool. Um, these earrings. Oh my god. She's so like royal in this outfit. She has a necklace on too and a belt with a little scarab beetle on it. This piece is really cool so you can actually like take off this yeah you can take off this black piece of the dress by the way if you don't want it and it like she still has this whole piece underneath so that's cool I really like the black on it though but I like how you know you can take it off because the blue part is like really really detailed it has all these cool like um, you know patterns on it um, uh, what do you call these hieroglyphs I think I don't know that's the right word, but it's so cool. Um, she has this really cool snake bracelet on this arm. And she has a, a ring on this arm. What is this? I don't know what it is, but it's some kind of ring. It is meant to look like three rings, but it is on one finger. Or two fingers, I guess. She has this Eye of Horus bag or purse that does also open, just like the other ones do very cool I love how um, Egyptian inspired this Cleo is or she all the Cleo dolls are which is very cool because I feel like they didn't do that enough in um, G1 okay her shoes are the best ones look at these look at these freaking shoes these are also so detailed there's much more paint on these shoes than any of the other dolls from the series there's lots of different colors um, they're amazing the heels are snakes <laughs> and then this part is like bricks like pyramid like bricks oh, it's so so cool i have horace oh my god amazing amazing 
the details are amazing. She does, all, of course, have her bandage wrapped leg and her bandage wrapped, oops, <laughs> arm. I love it. I love it. So cool. Kind of tempted to paint the bandages one day. One of my clear dolls, like paint them kind of a faded white color or something like that. They would stand out more. Um, but yeah, I really like the model run managers. I think it's really cool. Here's her picture. They're all very similar, but you know, very cute. She comes with this really big, cool accessory. It's like a big, like, crown thing. Um, it's so cool. Holy crap. It's got so many different colors on it, too. It's really detailed. Look at this. She is actual royalty. Oh my god. Sorry, is it crooked? It is crooked. <laughs> I don't want to ruin her hair, but I kind of just ruined it, I think. Um, yeah. Oh, whoa! She's so cool! She also comes with this freaking. Well, first, okay, we, we've got like a little makeup palette for her as well. Makeup thing. It's a pyramid shape. Super cute. She can hold it as well. Um, she comes with a cupcake tower as her food accessory which is very cool it's very detailed but um you can't take the cupcakes off unfortunately i wish maybe one of them you could take off or something um they have little pyramids on them too so that's cute <laughs> you know these little tongs which i guess are for these maybe but i don't know how you would oh, i guess you can yeah cute the coolest freaking accessory she comes with a freaking snake staff um, hello? This is so cool. It has a crown on. Hell yeah. Um, this is amazing. <laughs> a golden snake staff. Are you going to the same, like, party as these ghouls? Because you are, like, you have a totally different vibe and I'm loving it. Like, sh she just went totally over the top for this ball. And so she should. She should always do that. Hey! Oh yeah, I'm just, you know, going to the ball looking fucking incredible she's so cool look at her oh my god yeah okay she's definitely a must-have i'm glad i got her as well because i would have regretted it because she's so cool looking yeah all of these dolls are amazing okay i i can't pick a favorite because they're all amazing i can't rank them i mean Cool is probably still my favorite, but like the other ones I can't rank because they're all actually incredible. Um, highly recommend it. Let me know who's your favorite because all of these dolls are so different and so detailed and so good. There's not a single one that I dislike on this line. Yeah, I love them. I hope they come up with more. Like, obviously Frankie's coming out, but I hope they do like, like Abby or something or Claude, like or Deuce, one of the boys would be cool. Um... Yeah, because these are really good. I'd love to see what other designs they have. So yeah, that was Dracula and Cleo. If you haven't seen my other review of Claudine and Laguna, go watch that. Um, because I love these dolls. And you should love them too. You do not have a choice. Love them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!